Well, hello and welcome back. Today, well, we're just going to continue on with what Tacopolis 2 here. And in between the episodes, well, I did let all my technium build up and also get a full stack of nether stars as well being made. So that's all well and good. I did actually figure out why the advanced technium wasn't being made. It was because I didn't have big enough crafting storages. So I did upgrade a few of these to be 256k and 64k, so it's all good. So let's take a look at the next thing on the list here to do. And that's either make rocket launch pad, oxygen tanks, and spacesuit. So first off, let's get the spacesuit. We're going to need space pants. Simple enough. We're going to need some more wool. And make some of the 10. Should be more than enough. Perfect. We got the space pants, and we also need the space suit, which means we need two oxygen tanks, which means we need red wool. Well, good thing we got the dye as well, so we can easily make some red dye here. Maybe, well, let's just go for a full on stack. So, first off, we need to make the red wool, and I'll probably be well enough. So. Oxygen tanks, two oxygen tanks, oxygen gear. We need steel ingot and two iron plates and an iron rod. Well, there's the iron rod. We need steel pl iron plates. Two of those. Oxygen gear and a steel ingot. Do I seriously not have any steel? Get me some steel, please. Hmm. While we're also looking at that, let's see at the launch pad. That's another four iron plates. Okay. No craft CPUs available? Oh, because of all the technium I've used up, it's gone straight to make more. Yep. Are they being made with the steel? They should be getting made here. Oh, everything else. Annoying. Okay. Well, let's go a different way here. We'll just grab the iron for myself here. And we'll just run on over to my multi-server press here. Remove the gear working die and throw the iron ingots in. That should help out a little bit. Okay. Well, that's going on. We also need to make a fuel refinery, which ah, is extremely simple to do. So, fuel refinery. This one. We're just missing a bucket. Perfect. Two refinery. Check. It's one gold done. Oh, I need... Wait. I wouldn't have used the oxygen tanks up yet, so I should be able to just grab the oxygen tank, complete the oxygen tank quest. Check. Go up and we need an oxygen loader. Okay. So we need another oxygen tank, which means we need some more red wool. Oh, this is very expensive. Just so I can make the oxygen loader. Check. Got iron plates. Oxygen gear. Check, which can then be used to make the spacesuit in conjunction with another bit of steel. Okay. Launch pad. Check, there's a rocket launch pad. Final bit of the spacesuit. That's another check. Which we need oxygen for that, which is what the oxygen loader is for. I need it and some water. So 
put that there. Um, do we have access to water here? No. Hmm. Well, how much do I need? Let's get myself a fluid cell here. And a bucket. It's probably going to be a better way of filling this up than just doing this. Okay. Fill this up with water and hopefully, maybe I can do this. Can I just throw you in here? Nope. What if I throw you on top? Set output on the bottom. Hey, it worked! Okay, and it's getting oxygen there. Cool. Oh, it's loading up into there. Perfect. So that other way of obtaining oil, magma crystal from Hellish Technium, which means we need to get fuel. Fuel, we got to get fuel refineries. We need to get oil, and we get six buckets. And I want to be able to make the fluid absorber, so we need thirty-six. So we need six ingots of helium. Helium? Yep, te hellish technium. Perfect. So, six hellish technium ingots. We need a magma crucible, which. I think I've got somewhere. No. Okay. What do I need? Invar gears. Just need some iron. We need nickel. This is so annoying. I've got to do all this. Pulverizer. Induction smelter. Perfect. Throw those two in. That'll get me the invar. What else do I need to be able to make the magma crucible? A machine frame. Can I request one? Hopefully that's very simple for it to do. And some glass. Should have made more glass than that, but oh, this will be fine. Come on. Hmm. Okay, let's just upgrade my diamond pickaxe up to another right one. Okay, invite ingots, throw you in. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Excess of this. And then what I also want is a fluid outlet here. Let's grab some more glass. Ah, let's go two stacks. Shouldn't take too long to smelt all that up. What do we need for the oil? Okay, I need tier five support frame. 32 tier five support frame. What do we have here? Perfect. We could technically go for some beacons here. Four beacons, because you can use those as a cap block, and that's the minimum time it would actually do here. Okay. So, invite gears can be used to make the magma crystal. Check. Um, grab the ender gate. Start. I will work. And we also need the tank, which we need enough flux tank for this. Mm. Maybe. How easy to make a fluid cell. Annoying. 
Okay. But I still need somewhere for it to put in. So yeah, I do need a fluid cell. Okay, so we need a bronze gear. Give me some more bronze, please. I don't know if that's going to be able to do it easily or not. We'll find out. Nice. It was. Okay, secured rubber. We got enough secured rubber. Perfect. So, bronze gear. We get the fluid cell frame. And we can upgrade that to a fluid cell with a redstone servo. Do the appropriate order. Okay. And then we'll also grab a storage bus. Get that ready to actually provide fluid down here. Nice. Um, let's not bother doing it down there. It means I have to dig out some space and that'd be annoying. I think we might have enough. Yeah, we've got still got a few channels left here. So, it needs to be 32. Let's just see how this works. Put the fluid outlet here. Put some glass here, prevent that. Uh, we'll grab the magma crucible on top, like so. Set output to the bottom. Then in there, we throw this on top. <coughs> now smelt all that up. Okay, so apparently it doesn't like it that way. Throw this here within. That'd be the front, wouldn't it? Input. Oh, I forgot to put set to auto output, didn't I? That's what the issue was. I forgot to put it to auto output. Okay, grab that. And we need a fluid absorber. Check. Plunk that down here. Yeah, I am using iron support frames. I just gotta wait for it to finish filling up. Hmm. One more, there we go. Grab the fluid cell, throw this down here, output there. And that should finish filling this up. Nice. And final beacon on top. Oh. Throw that down, throw this support frame in. Perfect. We throw this down. Input, input and output there. So, slow amount, but we're getting it. Next up. We'll connect this up to the network so we actually have a supply of it here. So if we take a look in here, how much oil do we have? 
Hey, 7.8 buckets. Cool. So with the oil, I should be able to grab my fuel refinery here. I need to connect this up to power as well, probably. And export out. Oh, how's this going to require input here? I'm not exactly sure, but I think I can figure this out fairly simply. Input on the top, probably. So, export bus. Import. We need export. <clears throat> okay. Export this here. We throw that in here. So it's got power. We set this up to export oil. Hey, it works. We're getting fuel. Nice. So if we grab ourselves an iron bucket, throw this in here. Once we get a full bucket of this, we should get our oil. Question is how much fuel are we going to need for this? Plonk. Down the launch pad. We can then throw the rocket on top. Okay. Fuel bucket. Gets me that. And how do I fill this up with fuel? No. Nope. I'll generate a compressor fuel refinery auction loader from bubble distributor. Oh, can okay. I just put this in like that? So I need three buckets of fuel. Okay, that's not too bad. Hmm. So, got to be careful here. I won't look up how Beyond Earth works and I'll be right back. Okay. So, taking a look around, got a few things done here. And I found out there is a nice way we could get back and forth here. Now, let's make a temp pad. But for that, we're going to need to be able to make the waystones first. So, which means we're going to need four iron. Let's do this easy way. Do this on my multi server press here. Ready the gear working die, bang, bang. And that, that craft up to iron plates here. So I've got a few things ready here. My spacesuit is ready, so we can plunk this on. Oh, still full packet short. Oh, that's all the. Okay, that's fine. So I've got the iron plates. We can come over here and say, "Hey, can we get the waystone research?" Means we need blank paper, which means we need paper. Perfect. Waystones, blank research papers, check. Get that. How many tech bucks do we have? We only got two. That's not enough for me to get the tech bucks. I need more. 
Okay. Well, let's get some more bronze ingots. That's four, so we need quite a bit of it here. What do we need for the ten pair as well? Another eight. Okay. So let's see, another twenty-four. Shouldn't take too long. Okay. So, what we'll do here is throw that in here. We need one, two, three, four of those. Gets this tech box we need here. So, we can then go into basic advanced research, submit the papers and the tech box. Gets us that. Can we make waystones? We need a warp stone. Okay, yeah, that's doable. And seeing as I need four waystones to be able to make this, we're going to need four warp stones. One, two, four. Check. Waystones. Nice. Can use that along with blank research paper and the four tech bucks we've got or technium we've got to get the temp pad which and that can be turned in along with the tech bucks we've got to be able to unlock the temp pad now to make a temp pad that is Really simple. We need some tinted glass. Check. We need elite technium and some clocks. We need some more elite technium here. <coughs> okay, so it's just scheduled to make the signalum at the moment. That's all it's lacking. Or we can do that. So, temp pad, check. So, that will allow us to get back here easy enough. So, what I'm going to do is run back over to this one here and throw this one back in to the appropriate spot here. Let that run. And so, now that we've got this temp pad, Come over here and can run a program, add a new location, we'll say home. And with that, because this works across dimensions, everything, we can just go back over here, say run program, select location, teleport to home, and we just walk through and tell back over here, which will work for any dimensions. So, without the way, Let's get ourselves another bit of netherite here. Hopefully. All these blocks of netherites, which I... I'm going to just go the easy way. Good. Okay. Now I also want to make a smithing table. Check. I'm also going to make another diamond pickaxe. Because I want to go for one that's full up. Okay. So if we throw the smithing table down here, this and this, we can get ourselves a netherite pickaxe. Perfect. And also, I did make a quantum bridge card because if this works the way I think it is going to work, this should be able to work across dimensions as well. Oh, it takes three minutes to charge in between uses for the 10 pads, so that's good to see. Don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that, nor that, nor that. Okay. So. I technically don't really need the reservoir to get fuel because let's bring it back 
over here. So, with that other way, we can head over to the moon and see what we can grab here. This should be good. I've got everything I really need. Um, let's dump a few other things I don't really need. Okay. This should work. Up in. And off to the moon we go. <clears throat> Does take a little bit to get there. Oh, here we go. Yep. We're doing that. We're going to have to get moonstones, dash, and all this other stuff. High amount of moonstone, which then gets dash to get all this. One needs a tier two to go to Mars and a tier three to go further to Venus and a tier four to travel even further. But we are almost at the end here. Very much so. So. Go to Earth, we need tier one, go to moon. No oxygen, so that's fine. And yep, falling down, so I'm just gonna go fast until we start seeing the ground render in for us here. That did not go the way I was expecting it to. Ooh, okay. At least that works, so we're on the moon, we've got the moonstone. I thought that wouldn't have made me fall back that way. Oh So let's see, we will easily set up another program here and say call this the moon. And now we've made it to the moon. We've got moonstone, we need to get dash nuggets, which can be smelted from moonstone. Is there any easy way? We can mine it with a tier two support frame? Really? Yes. Okay, so we just need to go to the moon to be able to get enough to do that. Cool. So I don't think there really is any need for me to do anything else down here now, is there? You've got what you came for, so let's head on back home. Which is exactly why I built the temp pad. Okay. And I got a bunch of moon sand, yep. So with that we actually successfully went to the moon and got ourselves some moonstone. Will then set up mining and smelting to be able to get what I'm after here. To be able to get more dash, which we're going to need a dash ingot to be able to make everything make the tier two rocket, which is a pain, but it's not too bad. So next time we'll come back and go through and get everything else made up. But for now, good spot to call the end here. So that, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. If you liked what you see, then you can always comment, like, subscribe down below. And if you want to, you could also come join me over on my Discord or my Twitch. I stream every day over on twitch.tv slash expert 12 every Monday through Friday. And that, thank you all again for watching. Have a wonderful day in the Sector 12. Signing out. See ya.